What's up, guys? Welcome to Monday Night, and tonight we are going to discuss some of the Christmas merchandise uh, at Walt Disney World, and of course, we will show it to you because I make slideshows. That's what I do. Um, but first, I want to thank D. Oops, ignore that. That was an ad. I was supposed to skip and hit undo unmute. Uh, first off, though, I want to thank Dean over at the Live Place. Dean uh, hosts our show as well as over 120 other shows. Um, he's Live Place and, and Dreamers Empire on YouTube. Make sure you check him out over there and www.theliveplace.com. Uh, if you're looking for something to watch when you can't find your favorite live streamer, uh, go over there. He'll have some uh, some good good streams. Also, want to thank my partner channels. Mouse Talk goes live every Tuesday with Disanity. Goes live Saturdays with me at eight o'clock with uh, Sports Night and Sundays with Disney Dan with um, Disney Movie Review. And Rob Fuzz goes live on Fridays with either Pub Talk or Hangouts with uh, at uh, four o'clock. So make sure you check them out. And of course, my brothers, the Dis and That Crew. Uh, we go live every Wednesday at nine o'clock. Chef goes live Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Saturdays at eight nine thirty. I'm all over the place today. Uh, Zip goes live tomorrow Tuesdays at eight or seven o'clock, and he's got a special one tomorrow, guys. He's uh, he put together a, a nice little slideshow like I do, and he's doing uh, some of his favorite moments from uh, Disney that Disney brought everything together. So make sure you go check that out tomorrow. And then uh, Brandy and Dave go live also on Tuesdays at six o'clock. So. Make sure you go check everybody out. Um, and then Disney Dan goes live on Saturdays at uh, 7 o'clock with Disney Fiasco. So tonight, guys, we're going to talk about uh, some merchandise. Before we do that, let's get to uh, the chat here. We have G. Wilson, Disney at Boiler Up, Timothy Rainwaters, James Ryan, Strive to Do Better, SG88 Keys. Welcome in. Joy S, Jersey Mike, David Stevens, uh, Lady Jamers, Zippity Doodad. What's up, brother? Happy Hopper, Lori Jean Carlson, Rachel Fithian. Blue Nose 352, what is going on, buddy? Thank you for being here. Sean Rogers, welcome in. Piglet Brew loves Disney. Piglet Trusky, I'll get it right one of these days. Julie C, Andy J, Andy J, sorry. Uh, welcome in. Angela Minter, Udalali Lane, Bill Steffen. Um, I think I got everybody. Andy Coog, 86, Angela Minter. Welcome in, guys. So we have a uh, nice one. Oh, me? Oh, that's just that's my Indianapolis Colts watch. Anyways. Um, welcome in Marguerite Nagy and Herschel Linney as well. Guys, we've got some uh, mer merchandise to talk about. So, and I, of course, I've got a lot of pictures. We're going to jump right into it. And if you guys have questions or comments, please uh, leave them in the chat and we will discuss as we go. Surf Bum, welcome in. Lana Stone, welcome in. Michael D, thank you for being here. Thank you guys, everybody. Dad Builds, welcome in. <laughs> Shiny watch. It's uh, It was a Christmas gift uh, last year, so... It's still shiny, I guess, because I just put it on the other day. Karen Cook, welcome in. Hope you're doing better. So, guys, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the merchandise that we will be having this year at uh, the festival, or at the not the festival, the uh, the holidays. I'm gonna go small screen for myself so you guys can see the merchandise a little better. If you have questions, please just throw them in the chat, and we will do our best to talk about it. Mike Wheeler, welcome in, buddy. Thank you for being here. Okay, so up first. We have, oops, got to make sure this thing works now. There we go. We have the light up bow from, it's a Minnie Mouse bow. It's got sequins and apparently it lights up. Everybody go, ooh, ah. It's $14.99. All this stuff can be found, I think, at pretty much anywhere that you can buy a, uh, any, anywhere you can find the festival or the festival or the holiday merchandise. You should be able to find it anywhere. Donna Jaworski, what's up, sis? Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. But you can find uh, the light up bow for fourteen ninety nine that goes in your hair, and it's got a little. It's hard to see, but the bottom right hand corner it does say Minnie Mouse on it. So Disney nerd herders, welcome in. Thank you for being here. R. John's Richard, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Could it be a bow tie? It could, Sean. It could indeed. All right. So up next we have the. Uh, of course, this thing's not going to work tonight. So I'm going to just use a little pointer. We have the Christmas uh, mini fashion doll which is $34.99. Oh, by the way, uh, most of these pictures and, and the info I got off of uh, WDWNT, so make sure you check out, go over there and check them out, guys, For uh, if you need to know any more about this stuff. They have articles about each of these items, too, so go over there and check them out. Uh, but you have the Christmas mini fashion doll. It looks like it comes with a, some accessories. I see some gold shoes, a peppermint-striped bow tie, some other things. They even come with – they're really hard to see, but right next to her body – 
right in this area right here are some mini mouse uh, hangers. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but it's $34.99, and it is the Christmas mini fashion doll. Then you have the pajama Henley, which I have no idea what that is. But it's this little thing. It's a shirt is what I call it. So do Philly crew. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. Uh, it is a shirt, and it's $39.99. This is what it looks like. It's hard to find a good hanger. It is hard to find a good hanger, Sean. Yes, it is. All right. There's the backside. The eighth wonder of the world, the backside of a shirt. And I thought you'd be streaming for WDW based on the stream name. Oh, nope, sorry. I won't be there, but I will be there in a couple weeks, but not today. And then there is the little insignia on the uh, on the front corner of it. Again, this shirt is $39.99. It's a little pricey for a pajama shirt, in my opinion, but, uh, but $39.99 for the pajama shirt with this little thing on the corner. A Henley is a type of shirt usually knit with long sleeves and buttons at the top. Thank you very much, Andy. There is a uh, there is the description, guys. Elena K808, welcome in. Happy Hopper, welcome in. If I didn't say hi to you earlier. All right, up next, we have the Chippendale plushes. They are $29.99 each. They're a decent size. I think they're eight inch. One says Chip, obviously. One says Dale. They, are, they have their names on the hats. They're a little harder to see. Triple A Sparkers, welcome in. LSU mom, thank you for being here. Really appreciate you guys all for coming in. Kadani, Sean, welcome in. But we have, uh, there is the Chip and Dale plush. Dale wears the red shirt with the red nose. And Chip is the other one, though not red. And they both are $29.99 a piece. There is the backside of Chip and Dale. Also, we have a fleece and cable knit throw blanket. Again, I'm not sure what that is, but it's what it says on the tag right there. So it is a fleece and cable knit throw blanket for $74.99. Here comes a picture of what it kind of looks like outside of the package. It looks pretty neat. Um, I don't remember if it said how big it was. I think it's your typical four foot by five foot little blanket. So uh, that's, I think that's what typical throws are. So that's probably around the size for $75, bucks, but they're usually really nice. So um, here is a Mickey Santa hat for $29.99. And it's pretty basic. It's just got two little ears coming off of a Santa hat. The Santa, the trim is plaid. It's hard to see there at the bottom, but it is a uh, pretty nice. Yeah, that is a heck of a pricey blanket, Chris, for sure. It's uh it's up there. We already brought we already bought some Christmas merch on Shop Disney. Are you surprised? I don't think anybody's surprised, do Philly Grew. Did you receive the email about the gift from D plus, Disney Plus after one year. Could that gift work? I, I don't know. I didn't read that, Chris, if I'm being honest. I don't know what, uh, I didn't read my emails. I, haven't, I don't read that email that often, so, but uh, I'll check it out for sure. In fact, a throw rug at Disney is called a magic carpet. That is awesome. So we have the Santa Mickey long sleeve shirt, $39.99 for this uh, nice little shirt here. This looks like your typical, what I call baseball jersey. Via Pre Project, welcome in, guys. Ed and Mindy. Uh, guys, if you don't know Ed and Mindy, please get to know them. They're awesome people. They go live tomorrow night. Go check them out, please. They are uh, an awesome group of people. Uh, then you got the mini flan mini mouse flannel pajamas. It's a two-piece set. comes with the, the pants and the shirt. For $49.99. And then uh, the little the little thing on the pocket there looks like this. It's just Minnie Mouse. Of course, Mary Kehoe, welcome in. Thank you for being here. So there is the Minnie Mouse flannel pajamas. Then you got the one on the left, the, the blue one, is a Mickey Mouse adult onesie, which is uh, interesting. Um because here there is $69.99 for a onesie piece of pajamas. Just saying. It's a little pricey. Here is what it looks like, though, up close. Again, $69.99 for a, a zip-up one-piece pajama set. And there is the hat. It is. It does look very warm inside. I will say that. It looks like it's lined with wool. Very, very – Uh, it's not your typical thin pajamas. Steve, where is your Santa hat? It's – Still packed away, Cody. I haven't even. I got to get it out. Anyways, um, you got the. Uh, it, it does look like it's got wool lined. 
a set here, and it looks really warm. Still cheaper than a blanket, though. That is true, Chris Dadville. That is true. And here is the Minnie Mouse one for the uh, ladies, and it is also $69.99. Same type of thing here. It has a – the onesies look like thermal. They do look – Karen, they look very warm for sure. They have the, – the, you can see – I think this one has a better picture of it coming up here. You can see how it looks like it's got wool right there on the on the hat. And I'm, I'm guessing you saw someone walking around Magic Kingdom in their Christmas onesie last week. Interesting. Surfer Girl 326, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Dreamer Deborah, welcome in. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, what if I what if I wanted to win wear Mini 2? Does that what does that do? Does, Cody, if you want to wear the Minnie Mouse buddy, you wear it and nobody's gonna say a word to you. <laughs> Nobody. Steve, this outfit would be good for your Grinch stream. It would. It would indeed. Orlando guy, Richard, what's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. Dougie Walter Grams, what's up, buddy? Thank you so much for showing up. But there is the uh, the onesies, guys. I'm not going to say I don't have any onesies, but I'm not going to show you any onesies. Happy Haunt, welcome in. And then, of course, they have them for the children. There is the Minnie Mouse, or, I'm sorry, the Mickey Mouse youth onesie, $49.99 for, uh, for the child's version. And there is the uh, hat, same thing. And then the same thing for the women. Katie Cuck, welcome in. Thank you for being here. The Minnie Mouse youth onesie for the male or the female child. Uh, for Cody, $49.99 as well. Cody may have to cut the arms. Yeah, yeah. Cody's not going to fit in any of this stuff. His, uh, yeah, he has flex problems. Exactly. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good one to use there, Chris. Flex problems. I like that. I'm going to have to start using that. Uh, but here is the Minnie Mouse child's onesie. And there is the hat again. It does have the little red bow with the little peppermint candy looking thing on there. <laughs> And then here is a little kid's dress that says, I am on the nice list. And it's got Minnie Mouse with her hands under her chin. And then we have a, um, a shirt for Mickey Mouse that says, uh, ready for Santa. And it's got Mickey with a hat on. And that is $19.99 this year. So some of the merch really on all that that was out that I could find anyways is pretty basic stuff. A lot of it's clothes. I wish they had a lot more. I wish Disney would focus a lot more on other things like home items for your house and things like that. I mean, I'm sure you can get them other way, other places, but this is, this is kind of what they have in the main shopping area. I need some corn casserole from Donna Jaworski. <laughs> Donna can definitely make the the food, all the food. Um, there's the back of the shirt right there. And then you have the Mickey pajama pants, uh, for $19.99. And then you also have Faith Hope and Disney, AKA Barbara. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. And there is the Mickey that is on the pajama pants. And then for zip, we have a forky plush and he is holding a candy cane with a Santa hat on. So there is the forky plush. He's only $19.99. Uh, this might be one of the better bargains, I think, even though he's not very big, but consider con comparatively to all the other stuff, it's not bad. Not bad for the Forky. And then this is the countdown calendar for uh, Christmas. It's the gingerbread castle and you can change the numbers. You can see the two five in there. You can change the numbers of those to match how many days are left till Christmas. So uh, it's just a nice little decoration you got the, the gingerbread person on the bottom right has Mickey ears. I'm assuming the one on the left does too, but it's covered up by Minnie there or Mickey. So, but there, it's a pretty neat little countdown calendar. I've seen these a lot for Halloween, but I've not seen any for Christmas. So this is uh, this is the first one I've ever seen for Christmas. It looks pretty good. Then you've got the something Donna needs. It's an apron that says "Baking Spirits Bright," and it is $29.99. Um, for those of you that don't know, Donna is, uh, has been cooking and she has her own cooking show every other Sunday. So make sure you go check it out and bring your appetite because you're going to be hungry. But there is the apron. Oh, Kadani Sean says he has the apron too. Anyone seen any advent calendars from Disney? I've seen the Lego ones, but not, or no, wait a minute. Nope. That's Star Wars Lego ones I've seen, not Disney. Then you have uh, some kitchen towel sets. This one says Baking Spirits Bright Again. It is the uh, gingerbread Mickey Mouse there. 
and there is the other towel. Uh, Michelle the Quilter, welcome in. Does Karen get to go home tomorrow? Uh, that is awesome, Karen. I missed that comment. Congratulations on getting to go home tomorrow. That is that is amazing. Hope you're feeling well. <clears throat> All right. After the kitchen set, we have pins. Donna, we have pins. It's the stocking pin set. Um, Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. And they are pretty cool. That's awesome, Karen. So happy. And Donna actually has the apron, too. She's breaking it out for her Christmas cookie baking marathon for Give Kids the World. That's awesome. Shep, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here, buddy. Uh, the stocking pin set is $24.99 for the six pins. And then the train set is a rather large train set. It's 30-piece train set. Has uh, some really cool. It's got five cars, and the last one has got all the characters kind of standing on it do, uh, around a, a tree and some other things. But there is the 30-piece train set, and it is $139.99. Quite uh, hefty for a train set, but it's comparatively, I think that's also a good price compared to the other train sets I've seen. Then you have the Peppermint Bark Tin, which is $17.99. It's a metal tin. This is Happy Holidays from the gang. It's got peppermint bark inside in the shape of Mickey's. That's what the side of it looks like. Kind of looks like a uh, like a peppermint stick. <clears throat> then you have these character plates. I love these character plates. It, the only bad part about the, the plates is you're only gonna you're really only gonna use them once a year. And then on top of that, you're probably not even gonna use them. You're just gonna display them, then put them away. Ryan McDowell, what's up, brother? Thank you for being here. So the character plates are $14.99 each. So if you want the whole set, it's going to cost you approximately 60 bucks. But they are pretty nice plates. They're big too. They're the regular, the normal size plates. So, but there they are. Uh, then you have the knit spirit jersey, which for all those like me trying to ever figure out what a spirit jersey is, apparently this is it. Um, so $119.99 for the spirit jersey. And uh, it just looks like a sweater jacket. So I am not going to pay 120 bucks for this, but it does look like decent quality. But I'm still not going to pay 120 bucks for it. And there is the back of it right there. Rob Fuzz, what's up, buddy? Thank you for being here. That is a spirit jersey. And again, it's $119.99. Uh, up next, we have something that I am going to have to find because we have light up Crocs. They actually do light up. They are a, a, a Christmas decoration. Same as the regular Crocs, though, too. That's the, the mind-boggling thing is it's still $54.99. Um, and there's what they look like. <clears throat> and they light up. So I'm going to have to get those so I can go to the movies, kick up my feet, and then let the light shine in the dark. So, But there are the Crocs. Why are Crocs still a thing? Cody, buddy, we got to talk. Because Crocs are awesome. And Disney Crocs are even better. Candy Mom 15, welcome in. Thank you so much for being here. <coughs> so we have um, this. I could not find this price or anything anywhere. You have those. Do Philly Crew has the light up Crocs. I've got to get those. Uh, I have no idea how much this is. There's, you can zoom in on the tag there, and there's still no price on the tag either. But there are. this is a light up necklace, and it's a peppermint candy with and a wrapper. So just found it. I have no idea how much it is, but it does light up and it's a nice little necklace to go out with the other 20 that they have. So there is that. Then you have this park icon spirit Jersey, which looks nothing like the last spirit Jersey to me, but there is what this one looks like. And there is the pattern on it. And it again is 69 99. Tracy Glenn, Kenzie Day's dad, welcome in, buddy. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. And then you have the Peppermint Mickey Wreath, which is $44.99. And this looks like a pillow to me. And I'm not sure why it's $45. It, I think it is woven like that sweater vest or whatever it was. Not the sweater vest, the uh, spirit jersey. Jonathan Chong, welcome in. Thank you for being here. But that is what it is. There is the back of it. Kind of looks like a pillow. Looks like somebody put felt and yarn on opposite sides and said, 
let's charge 45 bucks. And some of it's a little overpriced in my opinion, but it does look rather decent sized. I just don't know. Again, it looks like a decorative toilet seat. It does indeed, Andy. <laughs> it does indeed. And then we have something that actually makes a little bit more sense because you're buying a brand name here. And it's the Lounge Fly mini backpack. It has the same kind of print as the um, the the onesie pajamas did earlier, but uh, it is a an actual Lounge Fly bag. And again, it is seventy five dollars for the Christmas pattern backpack, which I think I would have to um, I would have to use all year round. Because it depends on how the Crocs look and where you wear them. Actually, they're cool anyways. It doesn't matter where you wear them or what they look like. Crocs are awesome. I will, I will convince Cody of that one day. All right. After that, we have the dog stuff. All for the dogs or the cats, I guess. It could be cats or dogs, I suppose. Disney Tales Spirit Jersey. They have spirit jerseys for your pets. Not sure why, but they do. And they are, I think Crocs are, hmm, yeah, they are awesome. Fill that blank in with awesome. Ryan, $36.99 for the Disney Tales Spirit Jersey. It is, uh, it's pretty good, I guess. If you want to make up for not getting my Rice Krispie Treat, I'll let you buy me the Lounge Fly. Yeah, they didn't have your Rice Krispie Treat. I'm going to go with that answer. They were never cool in my eyes. I am not a croc in rocking. I am not a, I'm, I am, I'm a not croc in rocking. And now that I know Steve wears them too. Oh, well, we'll see about that, Cody. We'll see about that. Steve, are Crocs considered to be slides? They are a form of slides, but not really called slides. That's why they're 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 their own brand Crocs. So do you hose them off at the end of the day? Uh, well, yeah. Wash them, just throw them in the bathtub. Let them, you know, just shower with them and then just take them off before you get out. That I don't do that. That last part was made up. We're not going there. And then uh, there is the Spirit Jersey, $36.99. If you want to get your, I want to see... Steven, some Crocs and a onesie. I can make that happen someday. Uh, there is the $36.99 spirit jersey for your pets. Steve sleeps in Crocs. Well, you never know when you got to make a good, like a, we need that sound bite. <laughs> no, we don't, Sean. No, we don't. Uh, you can also get your Disney Tales dog collar for $17.99. It's got this little charm on the end of it. It's kind of cool. It's the castle as a decorated at, in holiday spirits. And uh, it's $17.99 for the dog collar, which honestly isn't terrible for a Disney dog collar. And you could also get the Disney Tales comfort harness, which looks like a hat. It's a harness that goes, it's a vest that goes over your animal, your dog. And that little hat goes over their head, makes them look cute and pretty. You can just wear Crocs with socks. Oh yeah, you can definitely wear Crocs and socks together. Slides and socks, too. They all go together. And there is the spirit jersey with the holiday pattern of presents and stuff. My cats have ear mitts. Ear, ear mites? Chris Porto, welcome in. I wear socks over my Crocs. <laughs> oh, my gosh. After that, we have the Disney Tales flannel again. Now they have flannel for your pets. I'm not sure why. Um, but, oh, no, points don't get taken off for Crocs. They're awesome. Yeah, let's go with that. Disney Tales flannel, $34.99 for the flannel for your pets. And then there is what they look like. It's got a little Pluto down there. we got a few more merchandise, guys, and then we'll have some chatting to go on. As uh, Speaking of dogs, can we see Channing? How big is he? He's bigger than Tatum is. Yes, my dogs are named Channing and Tatum. We've been over this. Thanks so much, Chris. I appreciate that, buddy. It is for millennials, Sean says. I guess, Sean. I guess. <laughs> I'm not going to go there, though. But uh, there is the Disney dog flannel shirt. And yes, it buttons up for your dog. Shep is going to have a lot of people pulling their applications. Candy Mom, got to keep it real. Mouse Talk, welcome, man. Thank you for being here. Again, guys, Mouse Talk is my partner channel. Go check him out tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Um, with this sanity after the flannel shirts. Now we got some, some more weird stuff here. We have slipper socks with sequins that are reversible. So you have a Mickey and you have a mini sock, which are, eh, I'll give them credit for those, 
But then you can change them from green to red with the sequins that go backwards at different colors. So they're $29.99. Again, I am not probably going to uh, pay for these. But that's what they look like. Then we also have the ornaments, guys. I do like the ornaments a lot. They're pretty cool. They're they're pricey, too, for four ornaments. Uh, you, you get a, the Mickey-shaped ornaments. That's Goofy, Donald, Minnie, and Mickey. And they're, you know, they're just obviously the Mickey head. $39.99, 40 bucks, 10 bucks an ornament for these things, which I guess if you break it down, 10 bucks isn't really that big, but these don't look like anything real special. So, I mean, they look good, but yeah, they're not like $10 ornaments, in my opinion. So, the seat, oops, I missed that comment. The sequins, slippers, and the onesie. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We will see. I'm not sure about that. Uh, <laughs> I put on a lot of costumes, but I don't know. There's got to be a line somewhere. Those are not worth $10. I don't think so either. Would you wear the holiday Mickey pajama onesie they have for sale now? Oh, yeah, right. We've already talked about that. I would definitely wear that. I said I would wear the Mickey one. Cody said he'd wear the mini one. Uh, Mickey and Friends ornaments, again, $45, which is even more ridiculous. For uh, It's $11.50 an ornament, and that is uh, for those four ornaments. Again, they are really cool. I just don't know if they're... You bought the onesies, Melissa and I. Oh, nice. They look very warm. Uh, well, have you had them on yet? They had the nice uh, wool and the. it looked like they were lined with wool. They looked very warm. Then you have the Minnie Mouse ornaments. Again, these are a little bit getting closer to the right price range. They're only $29.99, $10 cheaper than the other ones, and they're just Minnie Mouse assorted uh, ornaments. <laughs> but I want Steve to do it first, to see it first. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I get scared when you say you have stuff you want me to uh, to see, Chris. Sean, I agree. They're cool, but it would definitely be an outlet purchase. Would you wear the onesie to the parks? Probably, Ryan. I got. I don't have a lot of shame. I I I, I probably would. Uh, Mickey Mouse ornaments again, twenty nine ninety nine for the four Mickey uh, themed ornaments. We have a light up castle figurine for $59.99. This thing actually looks kind of big. Uh, it's on a pedestal. You can see it a little bit better here. It's got Mickey and Minnie inside. That's the new logo right there in the middle. It's called Celebrate the Seasons. It's got the Mickey Mouse snowman in there. Um, they look breakable and not cat friendly. I would agree. This is not a view bonus. Oh, perfect, Chris. Perfect. Then I'd send it away. Exactly, Candy Mom. I wear a ballerina outfit. What's a onesie to me? Exactly. And this thing lights up, guys. It actually lights up, and you can kind of see the castle lit up there, all the windows, the little tower, and the big tower on the right and center right. Open, uh, do it as well. Let light up as well. Alyssa and Neil, Disney family, welcome in. We saw that last night. It is big. Okay, so Neil says he saw it last night. It is pretty big. Um, maybe it's worth fifty nine ninety nine. Then it does light up. I don't. I didn't read anywhere where it played music. I'm hoping it would be nice if it like played some music, maybe rotated or something like that. But I don't think so. I think it just lights up, and it is uh, is fifty nine ninety nine. And then we have this: the celebrate the seasons ornament again. It's Mickey and Minnie skating and kissing. For this ornament is twenty six ninety nine for this ornament. Uh, Lady Jamie says, "Look like the white room from Small World." It it did. It did actually. You're right. I'll check it here in a minute, Chris. Thanks. And T. Marie's Place, welcome in. Thank you for being here. And then this is, again, the $27 ornament. That's what it looks like on one side. On the other side, you get a snowflake. That's it, 27 bucks. So um, here is the Mickey Mouse ornament, which is also 27 bucks. You can kind of see. It's like they took a ball, cut the center out of it, and stuck that thing in the middle of it. <clears throat> Again, it's got a snowflake on one side and a Mickey on the other, $27. And, of course, there's a mini version, but it's not exactly round. But there it is, and you can get a better glimpse of her right there. $27. bucks. i will go to Walmart and get my $4 ornaments and do my entire tree in Disney ornaments. So... <clears throat> yeah, these are these are kind of expensive for ornaments, in my opinion. All right, we have the Mickey and Minnie throw blanket, which is another blanket. Again, it is 75 bucks again for another throw. 
Um, I don't have a better picture of this. I have the pillow, which is the same pattern as the blanket. And I could not find a price to this pillow anywhere. So I would like a Disney Christmas food items and drink items. Uh, definitely, Chris, that'll be coming up on, on my show anyways, too. But there's a lot of good, a lot of good uh, food and, and drink options coming for the seasons. But there is the Celebrate the Seasons pillow, the same as the, the throw right before it. And then we have the Magic of the Season Mickey Snowman shirt for $39.99. Again, this one has a, you can see the collar looks a little thicker, maybe like a sweater-like material. It, it, I'm guessing it's kind of like a sweater shirt because it's also got the thing at the bottom. You can see the, the waistband around the, uh, at the bottom of it, kind of like a sweater would be, but I'm not sure, but it's still $39.99. Deborah Doodles, welcome in. Thank you for being here. All right, we also have uh, the the fleece and flannel jacket. Again, looks very warm. Has the li lined with what appears to be wool. I don't do white background fabric in my house. I have a thirteen year old boy. <laughs> Zip says he'll take four. I'm guessing he means of the shirt before that. Um, there is the Minnie Mouse flannel again with the uh, sixty five bucks for a flannel jacket. I don't know. Again, here's here's the problem I have with this. You're paying this much money for something you can only use some of us stretch to two months a year. I mean, I guess you could you could use it all year round, but you know, it's a little pricey in my opinion. Here is a Joy that says Joy on it, Walt Disney World shirt for $37 again. All the apparel is a little pricey in my opinion. Then you have a tree skirt, which is a 52-inch tree skirt. That is what the main part of it looks like. It's $79.99. Do you do the parks event today? I did not. So, Chris, I don't live down there yet, hopefully one day. Uh, so I was not able to go to the parks today. I can wear that eight months a year, Tina says. Well, I guess you get your you definitely get your money's worth out of it. There is the tree skirt. That is uh, kind of what it looks like. How much? for you to wear the tree skirt. I'll put the tree skirt on, I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna pay $75, $79 for it though. So you buy me the tree skirt, Cody, and I'll put it on. Then you have a Mickey and Minnie stocking. They're $29.99 each. Um, you get the Mickey stocking that kind of looks like this. He's holding a little, it looks supposed to be mistletoe or an ornament or something that has the castle on it. Dad Resort TV One, welcome in dad. Uh, guys, and again, if you you know who Resort TV One are, they're live now, I think, or they were, and they are also go live on Fridays. So make sure you check them out. And Dad, hope it's okay, Dad. I know Dad has a birthday coming up this week, so happy birthday, Dad. Um, happy early birthday, I should say. But uh, there is the Mickey stocking, and of course the mini stocking. She is holding a present, but that is it. So. After the stockings, we have a silver wreath for $44.99. Gary B., welcome in. Thank you for being here. We have a silver wreath for, uh, it's got some uh, ornaments and uh, some tinsel, garland, whatever it's called. And, oops, wrong one. There it is, the back. It lights up, too, it looks like, but it's $44.99. That one actually looks pretty decent size. I say decent, but it probably is about a... I don't know, a 10 inch circle in the bottom. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd pay 45 bucks for this or not, but it is there. And then we have the musical train figurine for 65 bucks. Again, everything seems to be a little pricey. There is what it will look like. It's got Mickey and Minnie sitting on the train cars, Donald in there, and then Goofy in the very back. You get uh, Dale, not Resort TV One Dale, but other Dale uh, on the star at the top. And there is a picture of it right there. And it plays, uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas. And then you have the children's apparel Mickey Mouse set. Says best gift ever. Zip needs this for Jack. It's a three-piece set. You have this one. You have this one with a wreath on it. Have you started decorating for Christmas? We started Saturday with our tree. Uh, Courtney Rainwaters, welcome in. So, no, I have not, Ryan. I'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute because I'm, I'm going to kind of explain that as soon as I get done with this. we got a few more items, and then we'll talk about Christmas and uh, decorating. And then this is the other one. Again, all children's uh, sets. 
Steve will buy it from you for $500. Take it or leave it. Buy what from him? You better not be offering up one of it. Oh, he's selling a musical train. <laughs> wow. Anyways, uh, then we also have the mini version, Santa's Little Helper, with uh, that one, the little bow at the top of it, the one with the uh, little buildings and the little train, the same thing as the uh, the musical train, and a peppermint striped bow tied pants. That's the best I can explain it. Um, you also get the Mickey Mouse youth pajamas for twenty nine ninety nine, which comes with the the, uh, the little shirt there, ready for it says ready for Santa and the pants as well. You could also buy them individually, but apparently they sell them as a set. And then the last item here is the tree skirt. The other tree skirt it is a, a classic uh, styled Mickey and Minnie in a sleigh for 80 bucks again. Nathan Rader, what's up, buddy? And there is what it looks like opened up. Again, it's the same as the other one. Size, I think it was 52 inches, something like that. But it is $79.99. So that, guys, is uh, the merchandise this year. <coughs> Excuse me. So... What do you guys think about the merch? I'm, I don't know. Got to be honest. I'm not sold on the merchandise. I think, uh, may I ask, are you selling this merchandise? Me, Deborah, no, that's Disney's merchandise. If you're asking me, that is 100% all Walt Disney's Christmas merchandise this year. So it is a little pricey in my opinion. Um, I, I just don't think, I don't know. I just don't think it's worth some of it's not worth that money. Some of it might be. And again, if you, the tree skirts I thought were really nice. I like, I do like the tree skirts. Something like the train set or the musical train figurine or that, uh, the uh, light up castle figurine. Those kind of things are kind of cool. But just the shirts and stuff. I don't think I, I don't know. I don't know if I could wear that with all those high prices. I mean, I could wear it with those high prices. I just, it's just for only getting it for, Two months out of the year, I just don't see it, it that it's worth it. Dana Marie, welcome and thank you for being here. So, anyways, that was the merchandise, guys. That was my cat's pee on tree skirts. <laughs> that's why you should have a dog. <laughs> so, that's the let's we'll leave it right there. Uh, I saw Lounge Fly in the park and I really want it. It's the candy cane one. Oh, they have a candy cane one too. I didn't see that one yet. So, but, anyways, I think, like I said, I think the pricing is a little tad bit overpriced. Uh, I think it's just, um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Patrick Gillespie, welcome in. Seems like they are trimming back on the designs because of 2020. That could be it too. I, I, nothing really popped out of me. I wasn't just like, oh, I got to have that. No objects, no designs, no any of it. I do like some of the ornaments, but they were way overpriced for those. It just To me, it just didn't seem, I'm not happy with the merchandise this year. The real person to ask would be Jenna because Jenna's a shopping expert. So we uh, we'll have to ask Jenna what she thinks of the merchandise this year. Uh, I lost interest after you showed the Crocs. Not impressed, <laughs> Cody. Oh, that is the one thing I do like, Cody. Thank you for bringing that back up. The light up Crocs. They are a, a Christmassy version and they light up. Now that's something I could use all year round because I don't care what my shoes look like. So the Crocs, I could have them on, light them up, walk through my house, and just let my feet illuminate the floor. It'd be awesome. It's a win-win. Cody, I'm going to buy you a pair of those for Christmas. That's what I'm going to get you. Anyways, Steve needs the Crocs. I do need those Crocs. They're awesome. But anyways, Ryan asked about holiday decorations and wanted to talk with you guys about how you guys do that too. They now have 70% off the 2020 date. Wow. Uh, they were 50% off and buy one, get one free. Well, that was buy one, get one free. They were 50% off. So now it's all 70% off. 2020 dated merchandise. That's crazy. Leanne Sherbick, welcome in. Thank you for being here. So uh, I never, I've never re-gifted anything in my life. Don't make me start. <laughs> oh, Cody. Anyways, so Ryan asked about uh, all this open toe footwear. Hope you're getting manicures. Uh, I get pedicures, not a manicure. There you go, Ryan. There you go. Um, so anyways. Ryan asked about decorating for the holidays. <laughs> There's an unwritten rule that you start decorating for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving, which is typically the way I do it. Um, 
I, I've I've wrestled with cleaning out my garage over the weekend, trying to get to my stuff. Nick Gates, welcome in, buddy. Tried to get to my stuff to see if I wanted to start my Christmas decorations. And I've got to the point where they're there. And now I have to decide whether I want to pull them out or not and put them up. And I was going to want to talk to you guys. What do you think about Christmas decorations? Do you think it's too early to put them up? The, I know some people are going to say no. And some people are going to say yes. I know some people do it the day after, uh, like Disney. They do it the day after Halloween. So do you guys do it the day after Halloween? Do you do it uh, a week sooner than usual, Kenny Mom says, which is this weekend? It's never too early. I agree with Shep, actually. I just maybe I should leave them up year round. <clears throat> it's been a messed up year, so why not decorate the inside two weeks early? I yeah, I agree to you, Wilson. <laughs> it's been a year for it's a year for early Christmas. And Bill, I will agree with you there. And that I've heard some other people say that too. So this year, I think it is I think this year more than any, we need Christmas early. Obviously. It has been it's been an interesting year to be nice. And I think just people want that that joy and that happiness that Christmas time usually brings. So I think that's the reason why a lot of people are doing it a lot earlier than normal. See, so you, you need to be really careful with Christmas decorations, but especially a tree with a new puppy because they don't have all their house manners in place yet. Oh, trust me. I know he is still learning. We'll call it learning. He's having a rough time. So, but yeah, I think right now though we do need a sense of Dis of uh, of Christmas in our lives right now. If we're all true Disney fans, then Christmas starts the day after Halloween, right? Ryan's got a point. It does start the day after Halloween all the time. But that, to me, Thanksgiving always gets overlooked, and Thanksgiving is a huge part of of what we should be celebrating. And it, it just we it's it's a time for family. It's time for togetherness. It's I don't know. I just think we skip over Thanksgiving too much. But I do like Christmas a lot better, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence here. People put them up in the summer this year to cheer others. Look, again, I don't. I love Christmas. I don't have any problem with anybody that wants to put them up early or leave them up year-round. AGC Magic TV, welcome in. There's actually a convention now that um, goes up under the eaves of your uh, – is it the eaves or in the gutters? I can't remember, but it, it, it folds, so it – it folds out and in and or or the other way and it it hides your christmas tree lights uh throughout the month you're not going to use them and then you unfold it and that way you don't ever have to take them down but it uh it's a i saw it on the shark tank a long time ago uh, i think this year could be different but i agree steve i never want to miss celebrating thanksgiving i agree i agree 100 I, I love thanksgiving it's time to eat good time good times with family uh, Steve, I agree that Thanksgiving should be a really special place this year after all the craziness. Absolutely. Look, I think anytime, anytime that we can safely spend time with those we love is, is time that we should definitely treasure. And especially not only this year, but this year should really put it into perspective to, uh, to, for future. It's, it, it, it's been a rough year for a lot of people. And I think that we should use it going forward to remind us that, you know, we need to be thankful for what we do have. So, yeah, I think we should uh, we should always be thinking about that. Um, the sun. Uh, yeah, the sun. Is, I don't know what that says, Bill. I'm sorry. Your Christmas lights. The sun rays on your Christmas lights. I don't know what you're saying, everybody. Sorry. Uh, time to be thankful for all our blessings. Yes, Dreamer, Deborah. Uh, Cody, we're thankful for you too, buddy. FYI, my daughter just left Sam's Club in Terre Haute. She said everything is hoarding the... T oh, yeah. So I don't want to talk about that again, but everybody here anyways is back to taking everything and everybody here is back to limiting everybody to be able to purchase one thing at a time. Uh, Mary and Y, welcome in. Thank you for being here. So that, that I don't know if it's just an Indiana thing right now or not, but they're they're starting the shortages again. So I asked the lady, I said, when did that happen? She said, last week. And I said, why? And she said, because people started coming in and buying cartloads of it. So it's like, I guess it's a pretty good reason if you got to limit it so people can't uh you know take all the stuff that's not theirs. So or take stuff to leave stuff for everybody else. Producer Preston, what's up, little buddy? Thank you for being here. We never left the shortages. Oh, so you're still, you've always been in shortages. That's, 
that's a little different probably out there though, Sean. Um, you guys have been in a, you guys have had a tough time since the very beginning. So Steve, it was on the national news showing shortages all over. Okay. So it's been there. Florida is a different kind of place. That is true, Neil. That is true. Especially if you're coming from an outside state to Florida, it is definitely a different place. It's a place I love and I uh, can't wait to get down there, but it is uh, definitely, uh, definitely an interesting situation. <clears throat> so what other Christmas traditions do you guys have? Do you, do you, do you get together with uh, your families? Obviously what, what kind of things do you guys get to do? Do you guys like to do when you get together? My family started this. Uh, there's never a shortage of Disney magic. If you look hard enough. Absolutely. Sean. Absolutely. Florida's just built different. <laughs> um, so my family gets together every year. We get, we, outside of Christmas because it takes several days. And I was in Massachusetts last year with the boys, I think when, uh, when they had it the first time, but we have like an Olympic style games over a few days and we gather points. And though the person who wins, or I'm sorry, as you compete against these games, you move on. And instead of a winner's bracket, you have a loser's bracket and you start with everybody's name on there. If you lose, you advance until you get to the final two and whoever loses that has the brown snowman they got to carry around. It's a it's a uh, stuffed little animal thing, whatever it is, it's about this big and you don't want it because then you have to carry it with you throughout the year through all the main events, all the holidays, any big event if we all go to like a football game together or something, you got to bring the brown snowman and the brown snowman has to be signed and the reason why you felt you got the brown snowman. So there could be some uh some uh, some negative things on that snowman for why they got them, but that's our that's what we do. We have a bunch of games, uh, Olympic style. Of course, then on Christmas we always eat and open up gifts and things like that too. But that's ours. It's kind of like Disney dates with Steve. If you win, you got to bring Steve around. <laughs> Shep, that is uh, guys. Apparently, Shep is making Disney dates with Steve a real thing because it is a poo snowman, one hundred percent. Shep has uh, got a commercial for it on his daily vlogs um, a few days ago. I don't remember when it was, but uh, there it is. Uh, no, there's no yellow snowman. It's a it's a brown snowman, so I guess, nah, it's just a brown snowman. My brother-in-law got it last year somehow. Even the kids play, too. That's the best part about it, and the kids didn't have to take the snowman home because they beat him. It's, it's weird games like uh, you may have spoons in your mouth trying to pass marshmallows or something. You might have... Uh, it's it's a lot of like minute to win it in it to win it or minute to win it games. It's a lot like those. So you don't you, you play those games, you compete, you turn around and you uh, you don't want to lose because if you lose so many times until you run out of people, then you've got you know then you've got to create a brown snowman. Yep, and they had to add the app to the application on whether or not one was a super taster, <laughs> Cody. Oh man, Cody, Cody, Cody. It's a real thing, buddy. Look it up. I'm just say it. Uh, any exciting Disney adventures coming anytime soon that you'd like to share about? Well, I do, Sean, actually. Uh, but I don't know if it's okay to share them all the details. But I'll be meeting a lot of people. I just don't know if those people want me to want people to know about them. Uh, building a Lego gingerbread house here. That's awesome, Deborah. So I will be uh, I was spending Thanksgiving. The parts I know I can to, that I know I can uh, divulge. I will be spending Thanksgiving in Florida this year. Um, I will be flying in. I think I'm going to fly in on Wednesday, just because of the way the flights are and and everything that are happening. So I'm probably going to fly in on Wednesday, and uh, I'm going to spend Thursday with Cody. Actually, strive to do better. We're going to hang out at, <laughs> I'm just an average taster. <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> so uh, I got to, I got to teach Cody some things. So I'm going to hang out with him on, on Thanksgiving. And then we were going to go to, uh, we were going to try to get into, um, I can't remember where we were trying to get into, but then Donna had asked us to come over with her. So I think Cody and I are going to spend Thanksgiving evening with Donna. Yeah. Thanksgiving protein shakes. That's right, Sean. Absolutely. <laughs> I got some, Hey, but don't, don't, no kidding. I use protein shakes too. I'm trying to learn. 
He, uh, he, look, there's one thing nobody can argue about Cody. He makes a lot of jokes, but he is, uh, if we need fitness advice or health advice, he's the one to go to. He's good doing, he's doing the same thing Shep is every day vlogging on YouTube about health and fitness and stuff like that. So I'm paying attention because I need to get better health. So, but we will be spending Thanksgiving together. And uh, if only, yeah, he's, he's very dedicated for sure. And Andrea, I have no idea why they're doing that, but the Google moderator team has deleted a message again and they're not bad messages. I don't know why they keep doing that, but just repost it and it comes back up. So he wasn't supposed to know that we were only doing shakes. We're going to Donna's house. You think we're not? We're only going to be doing shakes. That is, that's not happening. So, Steve, I feel sad for you. Or Cody and Steve, I feel sad for you. Steve and I are intense. Oh, yeah, Cody, we are superlative tasters. So, yeah, Cody is definitely the one to follow. It's it has been doing that. Every, oh, I know, Angela. I don't understand why it's doing that. It, and, and you can post the same thing twice. And it stays the second time. No idea. And you'll need to jog home. That is true. That is true, Sean. So uh, uh, Donna's not too far away. I don't remember where my hotel is that night, but I'm I'm sure we'll be we'll be jogging the rest of the way to run it off. So uh, we're we're looking forward to it, Donna. Absolutely looking forward to it. So, but that is uh, that is what I've got. And then I've got other people I'm going to meet out down there as well, which. Uh, Again, I don't know if I can mention, so I'm not going to. Some people that are in this chat. Um, I know other people that will be there too. Triple P will be there. He's announced it. I know that um, uh, Carlos from Disney World Freak has announced it. And Timothy Rainwaters has announced it as well, that he'll be down there that around this time. So, uh, Avery the Q and American, welcome in. I've asked Dale during the Resort TV One stream if he would let you get to the – get all the WDD Happy Meal toys, no comment. Look, I have a very special relationship with my McDonald's here from all of the costumes that I've been in. All I have to do is go in and ask them for the toys and they'll give me the toys. It deleted my comments earlier today and it said it was deleted by Google moderator, not just message deleted. Yeah, we have no idea what the Google moderator thing is. It's doing it on its own. It is nothing that we are doing. It's nothing that our mods are doing. It is just the Google moderator team. And you can put the same thing right after that, and it works. You don't have to get the food. You just buy the toys. Exactly, Candy Mom. You can go in and get them. Uh, so anyways, I'll be meeting some people down there for uh, around Thanksgiving. It's going to be fun. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to uh, hang out with, or a lot of people to hang out with. A lot of stuff planned. A lot of good meals, which is not good for my diet. But uh, that's what the hope is. Yes, they will give you all of the toys in hopes that you don't come in dressed in costume. Stacy Rogers, welcome in. <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> I saw that, Cody. It's a good thing you probably retracted it. Because they can see it. Um, done it to me, Google my. I <laughs> just like the mafia. Oops. Disney toys coming tomorrow at McDonald's. Oh, sweet. I wish it coincided a little better with my McRib season, which by the way, the, the big McRib off will happen in December. So are you going into the parks? I, I will be uh, for sure. I will be in the parks on uh, through, through that weekend. Josh goes to Disney. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. So, Lots of Christmas merch tonight, guys. It is all in my price or, or in my opinion, overpriced. Uh, but I'll get I'll get to see it firsthand next in a few weeks. So we'll see whether or not I truly think it's overpriced or if I just think it's somewhat overpriced. We'll just see. See, just go on a diet next year. Nope. If I keep saying that, it's never going to happen again because I just need to do it. I'm I'm kind of in the middle of it. I just started one not too long ago, so I'm kind of in the middle one. I kind of want to keep it going. So, uh, full throttle. I know I picked a terrible time to go on a diet. Um, yes, if you missed it, Karen Cook gets to go home tomorrow. Karen had surgery a couple weeks ago. Finally gets to go home. Are you going to live stream from the parks? I don't know, Leanne. don't know if I'm going to live stream or not. Uh, there's, may, there's a potential. 
but there's also a potential not to just for the sheer fact that I'm going to be hanging out with a lot of people that I want to kind of hang out with and, and not worry about streaming over. So we'll see, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to stream or not. So we have five more minutes, guys. If anybody has any comments or questions they would like to ask before we head out, everybody, we're going to head over to Meg stream next. Ma uh, Mickey's magic. If mods will start putting her link in there, I would appreciate it. And also if, uh, are they still resort to one? It looks like three are still live with their. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. I forgot. Resort TV one looks like they are still live with their fireworks testing. So make sure you go over and check out them as well. Um, Instagram. Dad builds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my god! I want to show this on TV, but I better not. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris, can I show this, or is that is that a no no? Because this is this is beautiful, very beautiful. <laughs> I love the fact that it's not proportionate to, <laughs> but. Cody, this is for you, buddy. You apparently, you know, Eeyore onesie. <laughs> there is there is Chris's latest work, Dad Builds. I can't get it close enough. There we go. There's Cody's head on. There it is. Right there. Cody in an Eeyore onesie. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Fireworks are at 10 to 12. Well, they're live from right outside the Magic Kingdom. So make sure you go check them out. Um, he will stay motivated for sure, or else I know Cody's threatening me now too, in a good way. So, uh, it oh was that no? I think it's Eeyore, not Stitch. It would have been better. He he loves Stitch, but I think it was it's Eeyore for sure. Ray, heard you say Resort TV One is still alive with testing their fireworks, and he said, "What are they doing testing fireworks?" I thought Disney was no one. I thought Disney was no one. Oh. <laughs> No, Resort TV One is watching Disney test their fireworks from 10 to midnight. So, yeah, Chris is back at it again. But, guys, we have three minutes. First off, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. Uh, I know you have other options to watch tonight, and I really do appreciate you coming here. Please head out to see Resort TV One on their te uh, fireworks testing stream. Head out to see uh, Mickey's Magic next on her stream, which I cannot remember – uh, Meg, what is she doing tonight? Uh, she is doing Christmas must-dos. So Disney Christmas must-dos. Make sure you check them out. Uh, we'll do Ulali Lane. Uh, thank you so much, Leanne. I love you 3,000 as well. You guys, uh, look, coming into the holiday season in a difficult, difficult year, we need each other. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Everybody needs each other here. So please uh, continue. We have such a great community here. At Disney Nerd 30, welcome in. We have, we have such a great community here, and people look out for each other. People genuinely care about each other. All of my friends have come from this this platform, so and I get to meet some new people, and I'll meet Sean here shortly too. Hopefully, well, I don't know if I can say that Sean or not. So <laughs> I'll be meeting Sean soon, soon too. But but he, uh, Sean and Tasha are awesome people as well. Good supporters of this community, but. Uh, Guys, you guys are just amazing people. We could not do this without you. Nobody in this community could do this without you guys. So, and thank you so much, SG88Keys. I really do appreciate your first time here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. We we do things all over the place. So, uh, and one day, very shortly, I hope to be streaming from the parks. So within, uh, what is that now, four or five, five, about five months away, hopefully. So hopefully, guys, uh, that comes, everything happens the way I need it to happen so we can do that. But love you guys so much. You guys are always such great supporters. Head out to see Resort TV One. Head out to see Meg. Love you guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. Hit me up on uh, Instagram or email if you guys need anything. Bye, guys.